All right, folks, for those of you that are uh, attempting to browse my GitHub projects here for the HandyBot, I thought I'd just make a quick little video here to show you actually how to use GitHub. Um, so if you're not familiar with GitHub, it is a collaborative website for working on code. So it's great if you're editing code or websites or things like that. Um, it actually works very well for HandyBot files, but there are a few little things that you should know because it's a little bit different when you're using the type of files um, that we use with HandyBot. Uh, so first and foremost, to get to this collection of projects, um, go to github.com slash cnc projects. And once you get there, you'll land on this page and you can see all of these different projects that are in here. Um, so let's take one here, the uh, pointer, for example. So this is one where you can uh, 3D print or mill a new little index pointer for your HandyBot if you happen to lose yours. So normally when you land on a GitHub page, you get a list of files. And I've done my best here to organize these and put a little readme in here that will kind of explain what they are um, and have cutting instructions and so on. So in this case, probably most of you, if you want to cut your own um, new pointer, in this case, you would want to go for the vcarve file. And that's pretty simple to get. So you can click carve. And because a vcarve file isn't code, like C plus or basic or anything like that, when you go to view the file, nothing shows up. But most of the time, if you hit view raw, it'll just prompt you to download that. So it's going to say here, download uh, the cutting file. Uh, vcar file and you'd be able to download that, open it, and go ahead and uh, cut from it. Some files though in GitHub open a little bit weird because GitHub thinks it's code. So for example, um, the SketchUp model. If you click on the SketchUp model, GitHub's going to kind of spin around and attempt to process what this file is and it's going to show it in a bunch of hieroglyphics and that's obviously not a SketchUp model and isn't going to do you any good. If you click raw, it's just going to give you more hieroglyphics. So the best way actually to get any of these projects is to click download zip over here on the right. And what that'll do is it'll zip up all of these files, all the directories and everything. So you'd have the vcar file, the SketchUp model, the STL, the readme, and even the pictures here. Um, everything that you would need to cut out this file, it'll send you in a nice little zip. So you click download and it'll send the whole thing down and you can unzip it on your desktop and go through all the files and figure out what you want to do. If you're interested to see how these projects are progressing, for example, if you want to see if some bugs have been fixed or things like that, you can actually look at things here like commits. So this, these are all the times that I uploaded uh, files to it or updated something. So here I cleaned up some files, I added some pictures, and here I uploaded the vcarve cutting file, um, I smoothed out the SketchUp model, etc. So this is really good if you want to see if a, a problem that you have ha has been fixed. Another nice way to view it is if you click on network, you can just see uh, when all of the updates have happened and what happened on that particular day. So here I uploaded a picture of the pointer, um, here I uploaded the SketchUp model, here I smoothed out the SketchUp model, uh, and so on. So main thing is though, downloading the zip file is going to be the easiest way to get at all of the files here. Um, if anyone wants to become a contributor and upload projects here, uh, get in touch with me um, either here or on the forum and I can add you uh, as a person that can upload um, a project. And if you are an experienced GitHub user, feel free to uh, fork any of these projects and edit them as you see fit.